getting ready to come up on a bridge. As you can see off into the distance. And what I want to do, again, for me, I'm new, I'm staying in the right lane. What I do, I want to create a focal point. The focal point for me is going to be the vehicle right in front of me. Again, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do target fixation, but I'm going to create a focal point to take my mind off of the bridge, but on what's in front of me. So I'm in the right lane now. It's coming down to two lanes where we cross the bridge. I'm in the right lane and I'm just looking at the car that's in front of me, paying attention to that, paying attention to the roadway. And I'm trying to keep a consistent, constant speed as I, you know, approach this bridge. So again, not looking all over the place, being aware of what's around me, just focusing in on that blue car that's in front of me. And I'm going to sing a little song. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. I don't remember the rest of the song because I'm 53 years old and I haven't sung it since kindergarten. But Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Something, something. Was it white as snow? I don't know. I just can't remember the words. And how about one more time? Focusing on this blue car. Mary had a little lamb. You know it was little because it was little. Mary had a little lamb because she couldn't afford anything else. So anyway, I'm paying attention to the cars around me. I'm going at consistent speed. And again, my focal point is that car in front of me. And before you know it, now I'm off of the bridge. Now, why did I sing that song that I don't remember the words to with Mary had a little lamb nursery rhyme? The only reason I sang that song is when I'm on that bridge, I want to keep a consistent speed. You know, if I if the car in front of me backs down, I want to be able to back down. But if cars are speeding up and cars are going down, I just want to maintain a consistent speed. The best way to do that is a cadence. You want to create something, a saying or something in your mind that just keeps your throttle at a steady, even pace. So I'm singing Mary at a Little Lamb. Only reason I'm singing Mary at a Little Lamb is because I want to keep a consistent pace. So if I sing the song and keep in, in, in the confines of the song, my movement, I'm going to keep that consistent speed. So that's what I would give you as a recommendation, what I did. You don't have to sing Mary Had a Little Lamb. But all you have to do is think of a saying or something like that. Think about something that maybe you recite yourself over and over again. And it will help you keep that consistent speed and not fluctuate while you're on the bridge. And your focal point will help you keep from moving, looking from left to right, from right to left, from left to right, from right to left. And then all of a sudden, before you realize it, you're like, oh, I'm on a bridge, I'm on a bridge. No, just paying attention to what's in front of me. Again, I want to be cognizant of what's around me, but paying attention to what's in front of me. All right, so let's take another bridge. I'm going to get on this ramp. This is a little bit of a different ramp. Kind of a tight turn on this one, so it's going to give us, uh, I think, a suggested speed of 15 miles an hour. So we're going to go slow on this. Again, I'm getting on the highway. I'm doing 28. That says 15. I'm going to slow down a little bit. I got a car behind me, but then again, like I said, we're not really worried about what's behind us. Let's do that suggested speed limit and we won't have any problems. 15. I'm going a little over 15, maybe about 17. Coming around this corner. All right, now I can pick it up a little bit. Looking to see what I got here. And oh boy. Now this bridge comes up on us quick, but again, I'm in the lane, staying to the right. And I'm just going to focus in on this car ahead of me. Focal point, I'm paying attention to everything. There is a little bit of a, naturally when you get on the bridge, there's going to be a little bit more wind. But all I'm doing is concentrating on the focal point ahead of me. If you got a song you want to sing in your head, just keep that tempo going. Whatever it is, I'm an Oscar Mayer wiener. This is how I always like to be. I don't remember that song. I wish I was an Oscar Mayer wiener. -na 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 -na. You old folks remember that. So I'm maintaining my tempo. I'm just looking ahead. Focal point. I'm looking to my side now. Look at my mirror, see if it's on the side. Nothing. I'm good there. Maintaining my speed. 
just focusing on the car in front of me, seeing if he's going to slow down. Nice, good tempo. And I'm off the bridge. Still on the highway, though. So let's go back to our highway rules. Again, for new riders, as you get better, you will adjust this. I'm just going to keep it in this lane. I know I got about, I don't know, maybe about a mile and a half I need to go before I get off in my exit. Keep it on the right-hand lane. Speed limit is now going to adjust to 65 miles an hour. I'm right at around 65. So I'm going to keep it right here. No need to go crazy. Nice consistent speed. My body is getting used to the wind coming against it. And then keeping my eyes out for traffic on uh, in the passing lane on my right. In case they need to get over or somebody wants to cut in front of me, I want to be cognizant of that. But again, I say this over and over again, but again, it's for new riders and this is what helped me be comfortable. There's a tractor trailer behind me. I'm going 65. I'm not going to be pushed to go higher than 65. This is the speed limit and if they want to go around, they've got more than enough room and opportunity to go around. Just stay right where I am. Now as I come up on my exit, looking both lanes, I'm good, I'm good, turn signals on, suggested speed limit for this ramp is 45, I'm going to back it off, back it off, right at 50 now, right down to 45. Slow it down. And there it is. Now there is no magic pill for going on the interstate, riding on the highway, and no magic pill for, you know, crossing bridges. Um, it's just something that I believe the more that you do, the more comfortable you get, especially riding on the highway. Riding on the highway, again, I, I will go back to if you're not comfortable with it or you're just not used to it, um, take small trips on the highway, hop on, hop off, get comfortable with it. Before you know it, you'll be going longer and longer and longer. Bridges are a little different, I understand that, because people do have a, a fear of heights, and it might take a little bit more time. Um, and there's nothing wrong with avoiding bridges if you can. Some people just don't like riding across bridges. If you can avoid them, and you want to avoid them, that's okay too. I just, where I live, I can't avoid a bridge. So I had to come over, I had to co get over that anxiety of crossing a bridge. And that's how I did it. Just, you know, again, I'll go back to just concentrating on one area in front of me, not tunnel vision, but concentrating on an area in front of me. Um, smooth cadence, which keeps a smooth pace of the bike where I'm not, you know, accelerating too fast, slowing down too fast. And before you know it, you're over the bridge. So. I hope these uh, tips, again, not tips for riding, tips for trying to help with some of your anxiety, uh, work for you. Adjust them, modify them, however you need to do. Um, and if they don't work for you, uh, you know, hey, listen, they, every, everybody's different. So these might work for you, they might not. If they don't, I hope you find something that does work for you that, uh, that gets rid of that anxiety. So just want to tell everybody, have God bless and have a wonderful day.